ladies and gentlemen hey hi how you doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for stopping by it is of course a brand new week in cod which means we've got some new updates coming to warzone in the next few days we also saw some interesting stuff happen over the weekend including a small little patch note update if you want to call it that obviously you probably saw a ton of the new leaks that surfaced for mw2 and cod 2024 but today we are focused on what's coming in the next few days for warzone specifically as we break everything down if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it it does really help grow the channel let's see if we can try and cross 2,000 likes on this video and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every single day i got you covered with all things going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications and also today is the final day that gamer advantage is offering free shipping on all your orders plus code immortal get to an extra 10 percent off your order as is so 10 percent off plus free shipping pretty spicy savings if i do say so myself so if you want to pick up a pair of frames for yourself they got plenty of different options prescription or regular lenses and the link for that will be down below so of course because it is a brand new week we know a brand new playlist update is headed our way this thursday on july 7th now because this is just another standard week by all counts i don't anticipate there being any major title update download happening this week we shouldn't see you know a five six seven plus gig patch going live unless there's like some emergency fixes that need to be put in the game so i anticipate this week's update on the seventh being just another routine weekly update so you'll go through uh come 10 a.m pacific time on the seventh you'll get the whole update requires restart screen you reboot your game and everything is automatically added there no time spent downloading or copying the update installing it whatever you want to call it so should be nice and simple now starting on the seventh we got a new batch of playlists for caldera fortunes keep and rebirth island initially on caldera we got standard battle royale so we're looking at solos duos trios and quads all the standard stuff there nothing out of the ordinary we also have the debut of storage town clash which yes that is 50 versus 50. unfortunately uh we won't need to complete any more challenges at storage town this week more on that in just a moment but uh clash a fantastic mode for trying to level up weapons if you have double xp tokens you can jump into uh clash here spam the bounty contracts and just get absurd amounts of double weapon xp and uh, rank up your weapons super fast unfortunately there's no double xp event going on past uh just a couple of days from now so we won't be able to like stack quad xp on that but clash absolutely fantastic for getting just a ton of xp per match by spamming those contracts also it's at storage town so that should be pretty fun to uh mess around with as well then jumping over to fortunes keep we have all squad sizes for resurgence yet again so solos duos trios and quads there there's also a few fortunes keep fixes that are now in play that we'll talk about here momentarily but then finally over on rebirth island we do see both this and fortunes keep live at the same time yet again which you absolutely love to see and here we just have resurgence quads that we'll be updating here though in the coming weeks and we'll start to see some more options available there versus fortunes keep but uh yeah pretty solid playlist update a little bit of something for everyone now like i said earlier we did actually see a small update go live over the weekend primarily focused on some fixes and some updates for fortunes keep so we don't have too many patch notes here but raven ended up tweeting out saying we pushed a small update live with some new tweaks to fortunes keep the fire sale public events will now happen in circle three so just keep an eye on that timing of course also with that we no longer have free self revives they cost a little bit of money loadout drops are discounted those so fire sale is still a super important event the cash extraction chopper can now appear in circles two and four so those will be dropping in in their designated areas potentially during those uh different zones and the most important patch note here more buy stations are going to appear across the map that was one of the main complaints that i've seen from a lot of players so far whether it be in the comments here over on twitter by the way feel free to follow me over there if you don't already at who's immortal links always down below uh but yeah it, it seemed like a lot of players were not super satisfied at the amount of buy stations in certain areas so that should be a huge upgrade there one thing that unfortunately was not mentioned in these patch notes is that wall breach in town where you can go inside of one of the uh various like i think it's like three or four story building and sit inside the wall and you're basically invincible you can sit there and just shoot players it's an absolute nerd mechanic like if you're doing that to win games i'm sorry you're not very good at the game it's super annoying to run into no fix for that yet but they are aware of that so hopefully we do see that updated so you can actually go into town and chase red dots without the worry of having somebody be stuck in a wall shooting at you from an invincible glitch spot kind of reminds me of the rock on fuel if you remember that back in mw2 
Now, jumping over to the Trello board real quick here, we don't see any major updates, but there is one thing worth noting here. That's the fact that the max XP event that's currently going on is going to be ending tomorrow, July 5th. So today is essentially the last full day of double rank XP, double weapon XP, double operator XP, double battle pass XP, and double clan XP over in Vanguard. So if you still need to rank up your battle pass to get the new weapons from tier 15 and tier 31 a little bit quicker, prime time to jump on if you're trying to level up your new weapons that you just got from the battle pass prime time to jump on as well so make sure to take advantage of that uh today and like i said a little bit tomorrow as well i believe it stops uh and tomorrow in the normal update time in the afternoon uh but as far as the issues go no real updates here the stopping power hitching glitch is still there champions of caldera is still referenced even though that's not a mode anytime soon and then also the fortunes keep gold camo keeps unequipping they are aware of that they have yet to put a fix live for that which is especially unfortunate because that sort of segues me that paul blurt mall cops me into the uh the next part of the video the fortunes keep event is also coming to a close uh later on this week there's only a couple days left on that it will not be live by the time we have our playlist update on thursdays so if you're looking to jump in and complete those challenges get those new exclusive universal camos like the variants of gold even though they don't work then also the uh like gold armored suv skin that you get for completing all the challenges you only have a couple more days to do that and then those camos specifically those are like the prime reward for this those are no longer going to be available ever again so if you don't unlock them you won't be able to do that in the future so if you're interested be sure to jump on and, uh, and complete those challenges. I believe for the camos, you need to get 50 kills on Fortune's Keep, which is pretty easy, and then 100 kills in Storage Town, which unfortunately, like I said, we're not going to have the Clash Storage Town mode live yet uh, when this event ends, but that would have been like the prime mode to jump in and get that done. But play and plunder uh, on, the, on uh, Caldera and jump into Storage Town consistently. You should be able to get that challenge done in just a couple of games. So not too difficult, a little bit grindy, but those challenges will be going away here in just a couple of days' time. And then real quick, lastly, just to close things out here, uh, this weekend was absolute and utter chaos when it comes to Modern Warfare 2 leaks. If you are on Twitter, I'm sure you've seen everything popping up. Warzone Mobile is currently in the process of leaking everything. The past few days has just been insane. We got tons of map images that leaked out. We talked about that over the weekend. There are weapon leaks for MW2, some even for COD 2024. We'll be talking about the MW2 ones later today, the COD 2024 ones later on this week. So stay tuned for that. Operator stuff is leaking, modes are leaking, like so much stuff has surfaced. And you guys already know we're gonna be talking about all of that in various videos over the coming few weeks here, just because it's uh, it's wild how much information we're getting from, of all places, Warzone Mobile. It's one of the weirdest situations I've ever seen for COD leaks in my 10 plus years now uh, covering this game and, and following all this stuff. So very, very strange situation, but exciting if you're trying to get info on MW2 nonetheless. But that said, that is effectively going to wrap things up for this one. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by dropping a like on it. It does really help the channel grow. And if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed, every single day I got you covered with the latest news, updates, loadouts, leaks, and everything else going on in COD. So feel free to subscribe with those notifications turned on. That way you can always guarantee you are up to date. And as always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, Gamer Advantage, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.